think we should bring this trailer? Mornings are busy for Ryan Palmquist and Megan Waters. The couple has three kids, including a baby. They recently bought a minivan, but just weeks ago, they were car free. We want to do our part to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. We want to do our part to show that even in Winnipeg, you can, you don't have to depend on a car for every single thing you do. The couple says the biggest barrier to that goal is Winnipeg Transit. It was dicey in that the bus would often come late uh, or not at all sometimes. And we're standing there, you know, 40 minutes sometimes with our two kids at the side of the road. They say the long waits made their young boys restless, dashing around icy sidewalks next to a 60 kilometer an hour road. It was the constant vigilance that you're just like, no, step back, step back, step back. There's lots of cars here. They say they might have waited in a bus shelter, but they're often occupied. There's meth pipes, there's uh, broken beer bottles, there's uh, like garbage, needles. garbage or, or people living in them who are, who are basically it's their home. Them. The family says they feel privileged to afford a minivan, something many Winnipeg Transit users cannot. Winnipeggers who take the bus make considerably less than most residents, earning an average of $36,000 a year. That's nearly 14 k less than Winnipeggers overall. They also bring in much less than the national average for transit users of 49000 suggesting far fewer higher earners take the bus in Winnipeg than in other parts of Canada. There are some people that cannot afford a private vehicle, and so they will continue to buy bus passes. They're arriving to their destination stressed, uh, perpetually late, and it's as if our city doesn't care about their punctuality. I think that's nonsense. I mean, Transit I Chair that. Janice Lukes blames a shortage of bus drivers for problems with reliability. She says big changes are coming by June 2025. We have to make transit more appealing. So we've got uh, electric buses that we're bringing on board. Um, we're changing to high frequency. And if, if, if it's dependable, reliable, frequent and safe, it will be more cost effective for people than taking their car. Can you hold it for a sec? Until then, Palmquist and Waters will get around other ways than the bus. It wouldn't take much to make it work for us. If we had that 10 minute frequency, if we had those proper connecting routes, mm -hmm. um, then yeah, we'd go right back to it in a heartbeat. And then off we go. Emily Brass, CBC News, Winnipeg.